All right, guys. Welcome to playing hooky with Cav. First video since ice season ended, and fishing my grandparents' ponds today. And uh, yeah, this is. It looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna start out with the Rapala stick bait here, or jerk bait, whatever you want to call it. If you saw our Instagram post last night, um, you saw that I was really recommending it. Um, this is my first cast with this new Field and Stream Tech Light. It's an ultra light rod. Um, so yeah, let's get her on. First cast, looks pretty darn good. The action on it's pretty good with the bait. So, oh, that was a nice cast right there. weeds And all I'm doing is I'm just kind of giving them fast action then giving them I'm just kind of seeing what what they're thinking of wanting today just because it's really been a while since they've uh, since they've um, had experience to open water so I'm just kind of letting them get a feel for it too. I'm kind of letting myself get a feel for it as well. I do also have a square bill tied on to my <coughs> other rod in case this goes south. And you don't even, like, you could even fish it as a crankbait. You don't even have to jerk it. And sometimes they'll, they'll go after it. That's a good cast right there. Those eggs. Hang on. That 
That looks like eggs. No, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that looks like some eggs to me. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's see what we got here. Forget fishing for a moment. This is really interesting. I don't want to bother it too much, but... Okay. Oh, yeah. Got something going on here. Oh yeah. That's something spawning. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure they're bluegill eggs. Yeah, something spawning in here. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it too much, but look at that, guys. Yeah. Back in the water they go. Yeah, there's one of my old spinners down there. Alright guys, we're gonna figure out We're gonna figure out what kind of egg that is. Because it's either a bass or a bluegill. Watch this. see I really want to know this now fried bluegill eggs Well, in any event, that's cool, guys. I I'd, I'd never Well, guys, that was cool. So we'll get back to fishing, but that is really cool. <clears throat> Sorry if this is kind of a prolonged episode, but that was cool. That was really cool.
The only thing that I don't understand is why would it be... I don't know, guys. Comment below if, if you know why those are so up close. And yet there's nothing... There's nothing guarding them. Maybe, maybe that's the way bluegills work. I don't know. But. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are on, boys. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Get up here, yeah! Oh my god, guys, that's a doink. Oh, that is a doink. Oh, oh yeah. That is a doinker. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful fish. That is so beautiful. Oh my god, guys. Oh my lord. Oh, that's amazing. I gotta get a picture for the gram. Actually, I gotta get a couple pictures for the gram here. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at that. That's a solid. Oh, well, it's it's probably a solid two. Nah, maybe one and a half, but still, that's a beauty. That's a beauty of a fish right there. Come on. <laughs> Actually, I'll get the I'll get the picture for the gram first. Or yeah. Ooh, that's a beautiful fish. And then we'll Okay, now we'll get a selfie with it, just because. Okay. Now I'll get it with the sunglasses off. Nah. Anyway. Beautiful fish, guys. Did not expect to do... Ah! What is going on with this? All right. We are going to let this puppy go right away. Beautiful bass. Oh, we're going to let him go in a little bit deeper water. Oh, oh yeah. That's a beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful. Just the way I wanted to start things out. just the way I wanted to start things out. Instant hit, almost anyway. We did not get skunked. Right in that area. Man, that's a that was a nice fish too. 
That was a beautiful fish, actually. Sorry I wanted to get so many pictures of it, but darn, guys. That was... I haven't caught a bass since the middle of ice season, and I caught him, I caught that one on a tip up. I didn't get a video f of that for you guys, but it was, um, it was quite the catch. So definitely, definitely worth coming out here and doing this today because See if we can't hook another one. Oh man, got it caught on the weeds again. Whack. Ah. Oh, I got one. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Largey. How big? Probably 12. No kidding. Should be like, it was probably one and a half pounds. Nice. Good deal. By the way, YouTube, say hi to the man, the myth, and the legend here. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he probably shouldn't be near me right now because of this whole... <laughs> Yeah. What they're what they're trying to do is just tell people to be cautious, and, and that's why your mom didn't want you to come out. You know, she didn't, didn't want to take a chance. But you know, a lot of a lot of people have gotten it that never had an idea that they were near it. You know, so <laughs> you don't have it, and I'm not worried about you having it right away. <laughs> the only way you'd get it is handling some kind of packages in the. Mm-hmm. Had to go check the mail, but I thought I'd come out and see if you were having luck. Yeah, he uh, is right in that area right yeah. there. Because, wow. like, and, like, you remember the size of the minnows I was using during ice season? That's about the same size, and I was running them down through this part. So, I kind of figured this kind of little, this little um, quarter, yeah, this this little strip right here would be. Won't be long and start seeing the spawn beds. Oh, there's actually there's eggs of some sort right here, like. Yeah, frog eggs, brother. Oh, they're frog eggs. Like they have little eyeballs in there. Yeah. I I was like I was like there's nothing guarding them. So so they just deposit yeah. thousands of them. And yeah. that's that's good food for the for the fish too. I picked it I picked it up out of the water with my rod and I was like, What in God's like name jelly. do we have huh? Like jelly. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, what in God's name do we have here? And then I was like, a little bit of warm weather. Yeah. Get some stirred up. Mm -hmm. Everything is everything is trying to breed right now. Yeah. Ducks, they just go nuts down here in the morning. Yeah. I'll probably chuck, uh, there's one mannequin yeah. there. I'll probably chuck it back out in the middle later when I'm done. But 
Yeah. Check the mail. <laughs> Ah, no. Well, guys, you heard it. Well, guys, you heard it first from my grandfather. Those were frog eggs. So, I was wrong. That's kind of, that's really interesting. Oh, right in the juice area. Oh, oh, I had something thump me. <laughs> yeah, guys, sorry if this is a longer episode than than usual, but we wanted to catch everything um on camera here how many minutes do i have on here 32 minutes well guys we didn't get skunked today um found something pretty interesting which i thought was just fish eggs um but it's it's in fact frog eggs, which, I mean, I should have known, but at the same time, you know, I didn't know. I guess I didn't like think about it, but it makes sense now. Um, and by the way, that was my grandfather. Uh, he's like one of the coolest human beings you'll ever meet. Um, Guy's had a rough, rough couple years here, but he uh, he's he's a good he's a great dude. So uh, really appreciative of him. Darn, I want to get back into that edge there. darn Thumped right in here. All right, guys, how cool was that? Got our first largy of the open water season, and he was a fighter. Um, that was that was just plain awesome um only caught the one today um it's still quite early but still that's a good sign right there because now we know that um they are beginning to um get up on their spawn beds and um get ready for for the next couple months um I thought finding those frog eggs was pretty cool because I thought they were like bluegill eggs or even bass eggs, but in fact, they were frog eggs, which kind of, kind of surprised I didn't know, but still awesome find there. Um, <clears throat> also with the fish. I apologize for the number of selfies that I took and all that stuff that's just 
I'm just weird like that. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, let's see. We are, let's see, today's Wednesday, so we're a week away from the opener of trout season. Um, so we'll definitely have video of that for you once, uh, once, once uh, we get it. Um, and hopefully I'm going to just do a bunch of bass content for you guys within the next like week or so, just because I had so much fun doing it. And like you saw on our Instagram last night, it's not the, um, it's not the exact color I was using today, but actually, you know what? I will show you the exact color I was using today. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I was using this Rapala jerk bait or stick bait, whatever you call it. And um, it doesn't really matter what color you use. I just, I was gonna show you a different type of color of what I use, but they're all the same. They all work. They all work just the same. Um, those little ones pre-spawn. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna get you um, some quality fish. Is uh, just working that through where you where you're sure the spawn beds are going to be, because they're gonna start moving up onto them. So, um, or at least here in New York. So, um, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. So, we will catch you guys next time. Please like and subscribe and turn on notifications for our channel so that you do not miss anything that's coming up. Um, so, yeah, we will catch you next time. Good night.